Okay, here we go. This is my window. <clears throat> I've masked it all up. It's taking a bit of time, but it's worth it in the end because once I finish, all I gotta do is then um, just strip the paper off. Yeah, on here. Don't know how well you can see. Let me open the window. Don't make my shots. But you can uh, might be able to see. Well, you basically you can see streaks in the paint. Yeah, on the paint tin, it says one coat yeah now if you paint your window and it end up looking like this where is this though it does need another coat then simply let it dry and give you another coat one coat i'm imagining is just a guideline yeah when you paint in your window always remember to open it because if you don't all around here along there along the bottom you can see the line there i hope yeah the paint will miss because that's all hidden behind here yeah so when you do open your window after painting it's gonna look crap yeah also make sure the paint is dry before you close your window so you don't end up with these marks on your paintwork yeah okay um, preparation if you're gonna paint your window and it's already gloss you need a bit of sandpaper just to take that shine off of it yeah just to rub it down a bit just to get the shine off because if you don't then it's exactly what you'll end up with streaks in the paint um, where the paint hasn't taken to the wood properly yeah preparation very important if you don't prepare your work surface work area whatever you're gonna be doing properly you will end up with a bad finish yeah Next, you come to your tools. Make sure you've got the right tools for the job. You want a brush that is not fraying. When I say fraying, as you do that, you'll get all the ears come out. These are the ears, yeah? And when ha what will happen is, as you're painting, you'll get it coming out on your paintwork, yeah? So, wanna get your area nice and clean, brush it all off, open your window, and Get in between it. all your preparations. See, like all there, all there, big crack there. If you want to fill it, fill it first. Some of these cracks, if they're not too massive, the paint will actually fill them. But on there, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a scab. Get rid of it unless it's going to be left in your work. Yeah. Any holes you don't want, fill them up before you start. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get on with my painting. And I'm just before I go, you see a paintbrush when you're doing your cutting in, basically it's like that. Yeah, get your brush into the corner and just go along, guiding it along nice and easy, just like that. Yeah, when you get into the corners, just push your brush in just like that, like that, just to get it into the corners. See, and then you just wipe it along nice and even this is not that important but as important but when you come to areas like this where it's against the wall and you haven't masked the wall you need to have had that little practice on here so you can get it fairly accurate yeah okay we're gonna crack on okay here we go again again on here I don't know you can see it, but it's all cobwebs and bits and leaves and what have you and what have you not. All those, get your broom, sweep it away. These are all the stuff that you can end up getting on your brush. And once you get them on your brush, covered in paint, then your nightmare begins. Yeah, so you want to do all that before you do this. Because that is exactly what happens. Yeah, you clear one area and then the next gets covered. Yeah, so clear all the cobwebs, anything that might get stuck on your brush. And I can see there where I said clearly your line where the window is being closed before the paint is dropped. Okay, here we go again. I am here doing my painting myself, as you can see. Now, I just want to show you this. Yeah, the lock there. Oh, you can't see that because of the light. There, you can't see properly neither, but I'll show you this one, yeah? That's the lock I've taken off. Now you can see the paint work around it, yeah? 
I've taken that off. I've taken the one there off as well. Can you see that? Any good? Maybe? Yeah, there you go. Alright. And I've taken them off on this side. Now, if you look at this side, you can see the difference in the paintwork. Yeah? You haven't got all that trying to cut in around the side of it and leaving a mess. Yeah? You just have a nice, clean finish. Yeah? See? Again, I've taken it off there. Taking it off there, and then I'll end up with a nice clean finish, like I say. See, taking it off there, take it off there. Just makes your life that much easier. It takes what an extra five minutes, and the result shows. Okay, all right. This is my second window I've painted, and as you can see, again, I've removed the locks because it just gives you that little bit extra. Yeah, if you can cut around it nice and neat without having to remove it, so be it. Sometimes the screws are a bit tight, worn, whatever, so they become a pain. But if you tell the punter before you start doing these things what you're doing, then they won't expect too much or certain things to be done and then turn around and say, well, why didn't you do that or why didn't you do that? Yeah. Another thing is when you're painting, have a bit of rag with you. So if you get paint on something, it's always easy to wipe it off straight away then let it dry then it becomes a nightmare that goes for your hands also to wipe the paint off yeah if you get someone say they're gonna do you a favor by helping you out doing this and that whatever first inquire from them don't be afraid to ask them okay you say you're gonna do me a favor now how good a job are you gonna do you're gonna do it to the best of your ability or are you just gonna do it slap that shift so i'd rather put that little extra pay somebody to get it done properly and then we won't fall out as friends because I'll be looking at you every morning I wake up or every night before I go to bed or every time I go to use the toilet whichever the case may be and I'll be I don't need that and I don't want me to fall out because we're cool so far okay good luck